This is question number three, and we are told, in an experiment to investigate the effect of temperature on seed germination, soaked maize seeds were subjected to varying temperatures as tabulated below. So we have temperature, degree centigrade, uh, starting from zero, we have six, we have 12, uh, we have percentage germination. So at, at the zero temperature, there was no germination or the per germination percentage was zero. At six, still zero. At 12, we have 2.5. At 17, we have five. At 28, we have 13. At 33, we have 44. At 41.5, we have 26. At 51, we have three. Part A of this question, account for the percentage germination at six degrees. At six degrees, centigrade uh, the germination was zero why how can we explain that uh, we can say there was no germination there was no germination since the temperature was uh, very low temperature was very low very low and uh, could not not activate a uh, germination enzyme so that is how you answer that uh, at that three if you look at 33, that is when the germination percentage or percentage germination was highest. Why? Because at temperature of 33, it was a, a favorable uh, temperature which activated the a germination enzyme at the best. So we can say percentage uh, germination was highest. was highest uh, since the temperature was the favorable the favorable and uh, activated the enzymes or germination enzymes so that's how you answer that question let's go to part uh, B of this question part B of uh, this question I uh, still have the same data uh, state two internal factors that affected uh, seed germination so you can state to uh, so we can say the first one is the embryo that is one internal factor the, the other one is seed coat uh, seed coat the one that uh, help in absorption of water uh, seed coat uh, the other one you can say is a uh, growth hormones Uh, the other one is uh, we have enzymes uh, the other one we have inhibitors and the other one we have viability so with that uh, any two of this is you mentioned any two of this you'll be able to get two marks and that is how you answer question number three